let's look at question 4. A straight line L is represented by the equation 2x minus y equals 5. Find the gradient of the line L. So, there will be a question that will involve an equation. Either they ask you to find the gradient of the line, the middle points, or the points at the other end. The first thing is understanding what is a gradient. So, a gradient is the slope. So, if you have this line, which is y given by ax plus c, where a can be m also, which is a gradient, the slope is this line, which is equivalent to m, which is the change in y over change in x. That's the gradient. Given that equation, so we just need to express this equation in the form of m times x plus c. So we need to make y the subject of the formula and find the value of m, which will be the coefficient of x. So based on that, we have 2x minus y equals 5. What do we do? We take 2x side. So we remain with minus y equals minus 2x, the moment 2x crosses the equal sign becomes a negative. This is why a lot of people make mistakes. So you need to pay particular attention to that. Then plus, because 5 is a positive, so it's plus 5. Then we want to make y the subject of the formula. So, but we have negative y. What do we do? We divide by negative 1 throughout. Negative into negative is a positive. So we have y, which we are looking for. Negative 1 into negative 2x is positive 2x. Negative 1 into positive 5 is negative 5. So what is the coefficient of x? The coefficient of x in this case is 2. So meaning gradient is equal to 2. So if you can do this, then you are good to go. Then you would get these two marks. So this is how you answer this question, as simple as this. Please don't forget to download our companion app from Google Play Store. We've got two apps, the one for grade 10 to 12, then also grade 5 to 6. So if you have a colleague, if you have got a cousin, if you've got a young brother who's in grade 7, also help them download the app that contains all the questions to help them prepare to smash their exams. Join me in the next episode as we look at question 5.